All right, well, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome in the 2014 Kia Classic champion, Anna Norquist. Anna, great day today. You had it sink in, you got champagne sprayed on you all over, but you said you were shaking afterward with excitement and happiness. Just talk about your feelings that are running through you right now. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, you still can't believe it. Uh, I was a couple shots back going into the day and just, um, just told myself to give it a shot and ended up making quite a bit of birdies out there. So, you know, it's obviously very happy and I'm very excited to have two wins so far this season. Yeah, your fourth career win, second in the last four starts. Only five starts so far this year. We have talked about it, we talked about it in Thailand and um, I know Karen said it out there about your doubts of your game, your doubts of your career, thinking about stepping back to have two, two wins in your last four starts. Pretty remarkable. Did you see any of this coming, even after your win in Thailand? Um, well, I was pretty disappointed after last year, not going to lie. I felt like I pre played pretty good, but I knew I had to do a couple changes um, to play even better. And, um, you know, it's just great sitting here now and... I'm proud of myself for taking some hard decisions and, um, you know, I've worked extremely hard this off season and, um, you know, they have to drag me off the range, but, <laughs> um, obviously I didn't power very well last year or last week in Phoenix, but I felt my, my game was coming along pretty good. So, you know, very, very excited to come from behind this time. Yeah. You, I think finished 56 here last year at this course. Did you think coming into this week you thought uh, no high expectations or what was it about this week here at Alviar that clicked for you? Yeah, I've struggled a little bit with the POA greens in the past and um, I think he's had a little bit of a different mindset going into this week. You know, I tried to be a little bit more patient because uh, I knew I was going to miss a lot of putts. You know, they're just a little bumpy, especially in the afternoons. Um, so I think that definitely helped me. Um, my cat he lives in California, I think, so I think that definitely helps. And, you know, he's been keeping me in a good mood, and we've had a great time. And, you know, seems like we had a pretty good strategy this week. Well, take us through the round. What were the highlights? Where were the momentum boosters? I know I'm sure you were looking at the leaderboards a little bit. Just take us through and um, how it came about and how you grinded it out towards the end. Yeah, I started off really well making a birdie from, I think, five feet maybe. Um, and then um, I missed a couple of fairways and... Um, got it almost on the green, so I could putt from the fringes. Um, just missed the green short on number six and chipped it up to maybe, I don't know, eight, nine feet and made that one for putt for par. So I think that was definitely a momentum changer. And, and then I made uh, hit a good wedge in on eight and nine and made the putts. And, um, and then um, 13 and 14, I hit it pretty close. So I think those were definitely... Definitely great moments, and um, my lag putting was great today. 15, 16, 17, and 18 uh, to give me give me a good good looks for the second putt. I saw you remark your ball on that final putt a couple times. Did it was it two feet? Was it a long two feet? Did you kind of stand over it, thinking, okay, let's let's get this one in? Yeah, my hands were definitely shaking a little bit, and I knew, you know, if I could could get that one in I knew I was wouldn't uh, I was gonna be in a good position but you never know the green's a little bumpy and you know with the sun kind of setting a little bit you seems to see every footprint <laughs> and every spike mark I so I try to not focus that and just see the hole okay questions for Anna Anna you said you had to make some hard decisions in the off season. what were those hard decisions well, I decided to change coach. This um, well, I started working with him with swing in in January. Jorge Parada, a Spanish guy, and um, and then I I changed my equipment. I changed my clothes. Um, you know, and I think the dis decision was just you know if it was either I was going to keep working at it or you know it was um, or just you know keep plugging keep practicing or playing like I have been, but, you know, I think, you know, really set my mind up because I wanted to, you know, be in contention and win tournaments. It's interesting because if, if people on the outside looked at your year last year, I mean, you had 15 top 15 finishes, which is, I mean, some people out here would absolutely love that. What, why was it so hard for you to look at that um, and accept that, I guess? 
Well, I think, I mean, last year I had, like you said, I had 15 top 15s, and I think in 2012, so two years ago, I had 12 top 10s. So it's, my game has been very consistent in the last two years, and but I haven't been winning since uh, end of 2009, and that's, it doesn't matter if you're very consistent and you're always up there, but the question is always going to be, when are you going to win again? So you're definitely going to think about it. You're definitely going to question yourself about it if you have what it takes to win there again. Um, so I think that's where the, that was the spot I was in. And, you know, I definitely wanted to win again. And that's why I'm out here. I hate to lose and I'm a true competitor. So um, I felt like, you know, 15 top 15 was, you know, great. It was consistent. And that's definitely where you want to be in order to win tournaments. You want to keep putting yourself up there. But I felt I wanted to take it to the next level and win tournaments again. What's the one thing off the course that you most hate to lose at? Ooh, that's a good question. Card games, um, video games with my brother, okay. <laughs> probably. Okay, moving into next week, obviously, I don't want to take away the celebration of this week and this is a special occasion, but going into a major, uh, your last one was in your rookie year, 2009. Have, you have to be very, very excited with the way you're playing, the way you're going into craft. Uh, I know you mentioned Jason lives there. You guys will be very comfortable. It's going to be a good week. What's the what's the thought on going into the year's first major? Um, yeah, I I really love the majors. It's um, tougher setup on the courses, and it's always a little bit more pressure and more kind of spotlight on the tournament. And um, I like that. Um, you know, I like the test, We've been, and it seems like it's going to be pretty windy next week. Um, we're just going to make it even tougher. My caddy, Jason Gilroy, he lives there, so he he probably loves this as much as I do. So, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm very happy with the with the way I'm playing and just can't wait to tee it up on Thursday again. Good. Yeah, so uh, you started with a 73 on Thursday, and then it seemed like you caught fire the rest of the week. Did anything change from Thursday to Friday? I played in the afternoon on uh, on Thursday. The greens were were pretty bumpy. Uh, ended up making a birdie on the on my last hole to shoot one over. Uh, but you know, definitely started to hit a little bit better from Friday on and gave myself a lot more birdie chances, which I think was the difference. They put up great stat on TV and looked it up and confirmed it. 16 yards longer averaging off the tee this year. Big smile. <laughs> this pump. Hit the gym. Um, what's, what's that result? Um, wow. Well, I think it's, it's a combination of a couple of things. I, I stayed in Florida this winter, and um, I told my trainer, Kai, Kai Fuser in Orlando, that he was going to have to train me hard this winter and kick my butt. <laughs> And which is exactly what I did. I was in the gym quite a bit, and uh, I want to get stronger. I want to get faster. Uh, so I think that's that's part of it. Uh, part of it is my my swing change um, or swing coach change. Um, having a lot more speed in the swing, and I can go after it. Before I was kind of hitting the left a little bit, uh, but now I can go after him. And then I switched to TaylorMade this year, and my driver's really been working great for me. And it was part of the reason why I was able to win in Thailand this year because I was able to carry five or six more bunkers every round that I could like that was in play for me in past. So I think it's a combination of all all three of those. And you know, the more confidence you get, the uh, the harder you hit it. Was that your Was that your first winner in Orlando? Did you always go back, or did we? Always yeah, I used to always go back to Sweden and spend three, four or two, three weeks over Christmas and New Year's, but I stayed, had, had my family come over here instead, and, you know, you just take it easy and, and work out. <laughs> what was your trainer's name again? Kai Fusser. Kai. Okay. SL, SLDR driver? Uh, no, I played a jet speed, 10.5 oh. degree. Okay. And then you said out there that you weren't feeling that well this morning did you yeah, mean physically I, mentally what? no physically <laughs> uh no I, I think i caught a cold like two days ago and uh yesterday got a little worse and this morning i felt my throat and um my nose so my i try to keep my energy up i think in a couple of shots didn't go as far as i i usually hit him but um 
I think my 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 caddy did a great job, uh, kind of adjusting to that. And you know, sometimes I think you lower your expectations a little bit if you're not feeling hundred percent. The Michael Jordan flu. <laughs> Any other questions? All right. Well, most biggest congratulations. Great job this week. Best of luck next week. Thank you.